I am so stoked to make this video for y'all. Finally, 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 I have a good solution to the phone number issues in high level. I'm gonna be honest, I made this video going over all the different solutions and I was so excited to specifically make the text grid video because finally, 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 we have a way where we can get verified once and we can send SMS messages for the next 49 clients. And so how this works in text grid is we can get one campaign and one brand registered under our business name and then we're able to purchase 49 different phone numbers and attach those to 49 different sub accounts. And so to be honest, the legality of this is a little bit different. You need to technically include something like powered by your business name, etc but you can do whatever you want you I'm not not legal advice you know do what you need to do to stay compliant and stay out of trouble this is so important because now if I was trying to onboard 49 clients previously I had to get 49 different verifications whether it was through toll-free numbers whether it was through local ATP numbers whatever it was 49 different verifications and now we can get verified once for your next 49 clients so in this video I break down exactly how to set up text grid how to get your campaign approved the description and the information that I used to get my campaign approved and then how to attach it to high level it's like three or four clicks to integrate it into a high level sub account and then purchase a phone number for that sub account and attach it there so you can start sending SMS messages for your clients and the best part about all of this is that it's also way way cheaper than going through LC phone and Twilio it's like half the cost if not less hope you enjoy this video let's dive in all right all right so let's talk about how to get approved with text grid so first you're obviously gonna need a text grid account so if you can't figure out how to sign up, then that's kind of on you. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you just sign up here and throw your information in and create your account. But then once you log in, once you log in, you'll be here. And so you probably want to go ahead and add a card on file and just go ahead and add like $10 to your balance or something just because you will need some money in here to purchase phone numbers and to verify your campaign. And the campaign registration and brand registration is a lot cheaper in text grid than it is in high level. So that is nice um, when you're not using LC phone and stuff like that. And so you'll see like sub accounts here. This is the go high level integration. A really important thing to do is like do not I repeat, do not purchase phone numbers on the main account level if that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to do the Go High Level integration, right? So if you're using Go High Level and you're integrating with Go High Level, you do not want to use this uh, phone numbers at the main account level. And so when we go to sub accounts, you'll just click on attach a GHL sub account and you'll connect one of your sub accounts. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna figure out how to get A2P approved. So you can see here, first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a brand. So you're gonna have to get it verified to then attach that brand to a campaign. And so if we go to like the brand here, this is very, you want to make sure that all this information is consistent with what is listed on your business. Uh, so on your SS4 or on your CP, uh, CP575, you just want to make sure that the legal company name is exactly as is with the LLC, with the proper casing, whether it's all caps or not, probably private profit, your profit, in select your segment, and then you want to make sure your address is consistent. It's the same thing that's re registered on your business. And then same thing, make sure you have your website, make sure you have your phone number. This one, you want to make sure this phone number is your phone number, right? So you want to make sure that it's um, not or, or a high level number, but it is a, a mobile number that you have access to that's not, you know, connected to high level or or something like that. It should go through very quickly, right? Like this, the brand thing is actually pretty simple. Um, the only thing is if you are, um, are a brand new company and your LLC name and your legal company name is not listed in the IR database yet. And what you have to do, um, text grid support for that and then they will um they want to fill out to get that done and so if we go to brand and we do like a new brand let me see real quick add a new brand let's just see if they have shoes up account registration video i was just going to see if they have an example of where to do that basically just reach out to their support they have a separate form for you to fill out to make sure that your llc gets registered um in the irs database so that your brand can get approved approved you can click on the brand so once you click, you can scroll down and you can see your campaigns and you can click on register a new campaign. And so you click on register a new campaign. And from there, that's going to take you to here. This is a campaign registration process. And so when you're doing this, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're, for 99% of us, the low volume mixed use case is going to be the one we want to choose. And then I think I, cho I chose customer care and I chose marketing. So those are the two that I, I, I chose. 
Um, and then into a campaign type, we don't really need any of that. Uh, we're just going to be a slow mix volume. And then we're going to go to the carrier and you can see this is basically just saying, okay, with this campaign, you're only able to send 2000 messages segments to a T-Mobile, num to T-Mobile numbers every day. And then for AT&T, this is throughput per hour. Um, so 75, um, SMS per minute through per, per minute. Um, so 75 messages per minute to AT&T numbers. Um, and then uh, Verizon have theirs listed. But and you say, yes, this throughput is good. And then from campaign description. So I broke down exactly what I put in mine um, here. You just say review text messages to users who consent to receive promotional and customer care, because that's what we selected on that previous page there after their transaction. And you can see you can just copy and paste this into your description and change the words, um, obviously change review harvest. Um, and then the tricky one, the action messaging flow, explaining kind of how they got there um, and how they're opting. So you can see I have a very, very in-depth um, answer here off of that's linking to my contact page where it basically has what we have on this contact page is a load. Um, it has, we have here also in our description here. So um, I'm not going to read this aloud, but you can just copy this from there and you can paste it into the, um, into the um, <coughs> privacy, privacy link in here. Uh, you can watch my other video. It's earlier in the course about using Termly. Um, Termly is, allows you to create a privacy policy. Let me just see if I can go to their main. Um, Termly just allows you policy. It's like $15 a month or something. But what they do is as stuff um, stays up to date, as privacy laws change, they update, they update your privacy policy and your terms and conditions automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. And they make it pretty easy to create uh, your terms and conditions and your privacy policy. Just be ready to answer about you know 60 questions per. And a lot of the questions you won't know what they mean. And so just answer the best you can, I guess, or consult with a lawyer. Obviously, this is not legal advice. But I use Termly for my terms and conditions and for my privacy policy. So obviously, you go to reviewharvest.com and you can see um, kind of an example of what we hear. Um, don't just copy it. There's going to be stuff that's different. Even though we're both we're all doing reviews, there's going to be stuff that's different. But you can see we've got our privacy policy and our terms and condition. And this is actually just like a widget you embed, uh, a bit of code, so they can change it as stuff changes. Um, and so you want to make your terms and conditions and privacy policy here. And then call to action. Um, privacy time media upload. Um, I don't think I uploaded here. Um, this is just, uh, oh no, this is a screenshot. This is, yeah, so I did upload something here. This is the screenshot of your contact us page. So just take a screenshot of your contact us page and all this crap on it. And then you can just set um, here. And text messages, here's the sample text messages that I used. Um, you can just use these five here, just like, hey John, can you take a second to leave a review for review hours? It only takes a few clicks, helps out tremendously. Here's the link. And then boom, we just have all that stuff there. And so if we go back, to, um, go back to this, and then if you want to do like an example of a personalized image, you can't, I don't think I did anything there. And then you want to make sure that you have these all selected, help, opt out, opt in, number pooling, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about direct lending because not unless you're doing loan <laughs> loans and stuff. Um, but we will embed a link, we'll embed a phone number because if you have, like you can see in the, one of these sample messages, I included a phone number, so make sure you have that selected or it'll immediately get rejected. Um, and just put no and no for age gated content and then submit. And then once it is submitted, um, you'll be able to go to camp status is accepted. And the cool thing is though, when you have to resubmit it, it's really easy. They, they save all your information there. And so you'll be good to go. It's pretty easy to resubmit if you need to. And their support is very helpful in terms of making sure uh, it, get, it gets approved. And so now you got your campaign and your brand registered, We'll cover how to integrate with high level and how to set everything up. All right, so once your campaign is approved in TextGrid, you can check that by going to campaigns and then you can see carrier status accepted. Once your campaign is approved, what you wanna do is you wanna click on sub accounts and you wanna click on attach GHL sub account and it's gonna prompt you to log in. And so you wanna make sure you do not, I repeat, do not connect the agency. That's gonna not work at all. And so let me just find a demo account real quick. Yeah, cool, so we can just use the demo website one. And you just wanna sign in, it's gonna be the custom SMS provider, and you wanna proceed. All right, and so from there, now you want to purchase a phone number on the sub account level. So you can see here, we wanna purchase that on the sub account level. And so if we go to, uh, just to make sure, if we go, except this, we go to sub accounts, you can see where our sub accounts are. So we've got testing email account, testing email domains, these ones I connected earlier, demo website. 
So you can see there, I, I was about to purchase the phone number in under the wrong sub account. So make sure you're careful there. But once you're in the sub account, you'll be able to click here and you'll be able to add phone numbers and stuff under this sub account, whatever you titled it, right? Or whatever it's titled. And so from there, what you want to do is you want to go to phone numbers. You want to go to buy a number and you want to just search an area code, whatever you want. And they're 50 cents a pop. So it's not, not bad. 50 cents a month. That's not bad at all. Compared to high levels, a dollar fifteen, and there's a one-time fee of twenty-five cents to purchase the number. But once you buy the phone number, let it load here. All right, sweet. So we want to configure the number. If you would like to, it kind of started loading there forever. But if you click on phone numbers, we can just check and make sure active numbers. We can check and make sure that number was added. You see, it wasn't added. Let's see number. All right, so we'll start from, and you can just check your, you can check your main account and see if your balance was deducted. Mine wasn't. So let's go back. Let's go to sub accounts. Honestly, I've, even the people at TechTree will tell you that their UI is not the most intuitive. And they said that they'll get to it once when it's a priority. But anyway, let's see active numbers. Okay, here we go. Now you can see that it loaded into the site there and you see it's not attached to a campaign. And so what we want to do, we can click on this number and configure the hosting and stuff. Or I mean, sorry, configure the number so we can add a name to it. I think you have the ability to like you do some advanced stuff here with phone numbers and messaging and stuff like that, um, auto forwarding calls and stuff like that. If you if that's really important to you, but you can just title this whatever, maybe the name of the client or whatever. But from here, what you want to do is you want to go to the sub account and we want to attach it. We want to go to this sub account's phone number. We want to attach to a campaign. And so you want to choose the campaign that you have approved, attach campaign to this phone number, All right, request sent. You can see that this may take several minutes or up to a few days. And so if you are struggling with this taking a while, one, ask TextGrid, ask them what's the hold up, what's going on or whatever. But you can do this in advance, right? So you can create 10 future sub accounts for your clients before you get them. And you can attach 10 phone numbers to them, verified, ready to go. And this is better than even the toll-free thing that I used to do. Where I used to purchase toll-free numbers, verify them in advance on a sub account because you still have to verify each toll-free number every single time. And so now we just verify it once, create a sub account with the with your snapshot, add add it to TextGrid, and then attach the phone number to it. And so if we go to like our ATP registration, go to campaigns, we can see you see this is accepted. Let's see if we can see phone numbers attached. Yes, yeah, so you can see phone numbers attached here. And once it is attached to the sub account, what you'll be able to do is go to settings and you'll be able to go to phone numbers and you click on advanced settings and you just want to make sure advanced settings and you'll make sure that text grid is the S default SMS provider. So you just want to save that, make sure that's the case. It's not going to pop up. I don't think your number is going to pop up under here because it's, that's kind of hosted in text grid. But from there, you should be able to text through the workflows, through you know everything just kind of naturally. So you should be good to go. Yeah, that's the text grid integration. The big thing to remember is just make sure you're approaching the phone, phone numbers purchasing the phone numbers under the sub account and not you're not purchasing the phone numbers up here from the main account level. And if you need to see your sub accounts, you just go here and it should be pretty self-explanatory from there. So hope this is helpful. Thanks. All right. I hope you loved this video. This video is coming because I finally finished my A to Z day one through seven reputation agency course. So basically day one, you know nothing about high level or how to sell reviews or how to make some semi-passive income online. By day seven, you should already have your first client. You have your business set up. You have a website. You have a way to acquire customers. You have everything set up in seven days. And I go into so much detail here. Every single bit of my onboarding process is broken down. It's like a two or three minute video. So it's really easily searchable and really easy to find and come back to also for me to update as things change. Also, I show you how I outreach. I show you how to set up your white label settings. I show you how to set up your website, the website template I give you, all that stuff. And of course, if you need help or get lost in the process, we got 600 people in the community that are super helpful helping each other grow. And then also you can hop on at least two coaching calls with me every single week where I'll meet you where you are and help you get set up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see how I make $24,000 a month just helping local business owners, get Google reviews, check out this next one.